Now, I do not want people to make the mistake of blaming this on one man. Because I know narrow-minded people with no foresight will say um, Sanicator is the reason why Nigeria have come out of this World War Cup. It's the reason why they have exited. And those people are fools who will blame this on one man. Sanicator was extremely stupid and is, a, and is very stupid for what he did because what he did was a red card, as in do not argue about it. People say, oh, the Greek guy, he died, he dove as well, and he was play acting. No. It is very simple. Okay, this is a sports and football, which obviously kids watch. You don't raise your leg at all to anyone. Ever. You do that, it's a red card. Okay? <laughs> because this is not rugby or like UFC. You raise your leg, it's a red card. And as soon as he did it, I was like, what is this guy doing? He's off. He's, I already knew he was off. I already knew the red card was coming. I said, he's off. No argument. But um, the problem with this Nigerian thing has been, ha has been going on since 1998 when they lost to Denmark. That's how long this problem has been going on for. Um, you look at how they played in the qualifications, you look at how they played in the in all the the Nations Cup matches dating back to two thousand and two, or rather in the last two na in the Nations Cup outings that they've had. Just that it's a rubbish team, and unless Nigeria wake up and reali realize that nobody cares about you anymore, nobody fears Nigeria anymore. Nigeria now amongst one of one of the worst teams in Africa now, you know. South Africa play better football than Nigeria. Ghana are better than Nigeria. Ivory Coast are better than Nigeria. Cameroon are better than Nigeria. Like Nigeria, like the whole thing of like, oh, we don't have to fear Nigeria because there are these people. No, it's all that is gone now. Nigeria have to accept that they are now rubbish now. You know, they have no fear within them. They are now a rubbish team. You know, because look at how they performed against Argentina, and I look at how. They performed with 10 men. Because when you have 10 men, the most important thing to do is you keep the ball. You have possession of the ball, so you keep the ball. So you try and walk around where, you know, how you can get past the opponent who has one man over you. But the first thing that any, that they teach any, any anybody when you go where one man down is you keep the ball. You keep the ball, you keep it tight, and you take your chance when your chance comes. The amount of times that balls went astray, long balls, you know, lack of concentration, lack of focus. I mean, I was looking at that, I was like, this, 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 this is just baffling. It's just, I mean, it should have been 3 or 4-1, easily. Easily should have been 3 or 4-1. And when I was looking at it, I was like, even with 11 men, even before he got sent, because that goal was, I mean, I told you like that, the only... People that can come away from this with their heads held high is Kalu Uche and Enyama. Apart from Enyama and Kalu Uche, nobody on that team can raise their head up high. You know, nobody can. Shocking. Shocking. I mean, like, I, I look at that thing because, like, I know. <laughs> that Nigerians can play football. I know what the standard of Nigerian football is. And I look at that team and it's it's a pile of, of rubbish. For me, I see that Tunisia would have put up a better showing. Tunisia would have beaten Greece. Even if Tunisia had 10 men, Tunisia would have still given Greece a game. Tunisia would have given Argentina a game. And I know Tunisia would have, give, would, give, would have given South Korea a game. You know, like, that, that South Korea match, I mean, I'm just going to watch it for novelty because, you know, I look at these people that... They only beat Kenya 3-2. By luck, I, I watched the match. I watched the match. Shocking. You know? Absolutely shocking. When we have to rely, rely on Mozambique to beat um, Tunisia. So, people are deluded. You know, I look at the forum, look at Nigeria and say, Oh, it's unlucky. Let's keep Lagawa. Let's keep everything like that. You, they can just keep on re, 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 regressing. Because it's a slave mentality. 
a slave mentality which makes you believe that oh this european coach who couldn't even qualify his own team is better than our own is better than samson siasa who has done amazing things for the under under 20 team because for me as i said again amodu qualified us for the world cup therefore he should be the manager at the world cup so you live and you die by the person who got you into the world cup in the first place how do you sack the man who took you to the world cup who's been working with, with the team for all these years and you bring in another man to work for the team for a few months it's extreme unprofessionalism you know poor preparation and nigeria they deserve they deserve zero point they deserve to be embarrassed they, they des it's only if they get extremely embarrassed on an international stage that maybe they will learn because I, I know i know they won't learn because they are guys who are just greedy and just want money but i think the best thing that can happen because i mean this is only my hope and the best thing that can happen is they get they get spanked and destroyed by south korea they get zero points and they are completely embarrassed you know it is an it is a complete embarrassment that they entered in there and they got zero points they didn't win any of their matches you know so i mean i just you know look at the whole bigger picture because it's a whole bigger picture you know you know, I mean, because you're, you're looking at that match, man. The football that was being played that match was the same football that was being played against Argentina. You know, I mean, I look, I looked at that one and one. I knew ya ya couple was 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 going to miss. You know, I knew I knew he was going to miss, and he did miss. And you look at that obesity when he had an open goal. It is a poor preparation because I know in training these guys they don't train properly. I know that they don't take training ser seriously because you know that if they take they took training seriously. You can't miss an open goal like that. You, you, you just can't. It just, you just can't happen. So I told you, it's lack of concentration. And these people, they're not professionals. You know, they, they, they feel like if they're doing a favor play because they're playing for Nigeria. And I mean, all of them, apart from Carlo Uchi and um, Yama, they should all just clear off. All clear off. It's, you know, they're, they're, they're a waste of time. They're a complete waste of time, you know buying their way into the squad like i mean look at a guy like kano i told her that you know i respect what kano has done but why is a 38 year old man in the squad instead of a younger much more up and coming player because all that stuff about oh experience you need experience well we have seen the experience and the experience now has equated to one zero against Argentina, which is five and two one against greece against greece which should have been four you know, and in, and also add a red card to that. that that's what experience has, has brought us, you know. Because I already know that a younger team would have put up a much better display than the disgusting, useless, boring, idealless, errant nonsense that I have. I mean, for me, it's, 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 it's a nonsense. So with 11 players against Greece, what were Nigeria doing? What were they creating? Where, where were they going? How were they trying to create chances to, to, to score a goal? How? You know, it was a very wretched, wretched football. And when they had 10 men, ex they were extreme on professional analysis, you know. If you're professionals, you have 10 men, you should be able to keep the ball because you're playing, you're, you're supposedly supposed to be better than these people against Greece. So you should be able to keep the ball, <laughs> pass to another man in a, in a green shirt. You know, and and keep it tight. Make sure that Greece don't have the ball. But you know, and then again, you know, that's you see, that's just my thing. I know people won't listen. People will say they also have like, oh, we're unlucky, or you're unpatriotic, or why are you saying this stuff? I say, fine. You know, you keep having that same sentiment, and Nigeria will keep going deeper and deeper into the darkness. We'll keep on going deeper, and deeper into the darkness. Because for me, like, I'm not sad or annoyed or anything like that. You know, for me, I'm like. I didn't knew this was this was what was going to happen. Well, I mean, I thought we would beat Argentina and then lose to Greece and South Korea, but it looks now it could be a loss because I don't I don't see this team beating South Korea. No way. I would be very surprised if they get anything against South Korea. Very surprised. So yeah, man, the state of Nigerian football and its politics disorganized. <laughs>